أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم وما هذه الحياة الدنيا إلا لهو والعيب. And the life of this world is nothing but an amusement and a play. It's like a drama. In a drama, in a picture show, someone is a king. For three hours is a king. But after those three hours, what is he? Someone is beggar. But he is a beggar for those three hours only. After the show is over, he takes his own robes away, and now he's a simple human being. So this is a drama going on. Allah has placed someone high, someone low. It's only for testing you. It's an amusement and a play. Verily, the life and house of the hereafter is the real life. This is not the real life. This is just the preface to real life. That you have a book, a very book, big book, but there's a small preface in the beginning. So this life of this world is like a preface to the book of real life. Only if they had known it. These things have come so many times. When they are embarking on some boats and ships, they keep on calling on Allah, praying Allah, and promising to obey him exclusively. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala delivers them to the safety and security of land when they start, you know, declaring associates and, and equals with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that now should, they should be ungrateful. But with what we have given them, they will give to their idols what we have given them. They are presenting as a present and gift to the idol. وَلَيَتَمَتَّعُوا So that they may enjoy for some time. فَصَوْفَ يَعْلَمُونَ Very soon they will come to know the reality. أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا أَنَّا جَعَلْنَا حَرَمًا آمِنًا وَيُتَخَطَّفُ النَّاسُ مِنْ حَوْلِهِمْ Don't they see that we, may, we have made this sanctuary, this haram, a secure place, place of peace for them. And from around them people are snatched away. أَفَ بِالْبَاطِلِ يُؤْمِنُونَ so do they believe in falsehood? And they are disbelieving the bounties of Allah. And who is more greater in evil? Except, no, except more than who, him who has concocted or forged a lie against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can the Babil Hakkilamaja? Or he belies the truth when it comes to him. The greatest sins are that somebody should say that I have received the revelation while no revelation has come to him. Or he refuses to accept the true revelation of a messenger. Both crimes are equal. Allah Safi Jahannam Maswal al Kafirin is not the hell a lodging for the disbelievers. Last ayah, most important and connected with the first section. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا As for those who strive in our way, we shall definitely show them our, our ways. We shall guide them. This is our firm promise with them. They should guard up their loins and start. We shall lead them. We shall hold their fingers and lead them to the paradise and heaven. وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And verily, indeed, surely, Allah is with those who do good deeds, who are excellent in their actions. اللهم اجعلنا منهم اللهم اجعلنا منهم اللهم اجعلنا منهم آمين يا رب العالمين This is Surah Al-Rum. 
I should have told you that in the Mushaf now we are having four surahs which are starting with these alphabets Alif, Lam, Meem. First was Surah al Ankabut, we have already read it. Second is Surah al Rum. Third is going to be Surah al Luqman. And the fourth Surah al Sajda. These are the four Makki surahs which start with Alif, Lam, Meem. Then we have in the very beginning of Quran two Madani surahs which start with the same letters Alif, Lam, Meem, Surah al Baqarah, and Surah al Imran. Now these surahs, they actually were revealed to Muhammad sallam during the middle four years of his stay at Makkah. I told you the Makkah period can be divided into three parts. First four years, middle four years, then the last four years. The first two main groups of Makkah surah, Surah Al-Anam, Araf, and then the fourteen surahs, from Surah Al-Yunus to Surah Al-Mu'minun. They were revealed during the last four years of his stay at Makkah, except for Surah Al-Hijr. Then these two groups, one group which has started from after Surah Al-Nur, Al-Furqan, Al-Shu'ara, Al-Naml, Al-Qasas. Then Surah Al-Ankabut, Surah Al-Rum, Surah Al-Luqman, and Surah Al-Sajda. And then will come another surah, Madani surah, that is Ahzab. And then after Ahzab, 13 Makki surahs. So these are the surahs, 8 plus 13, 21, which were mostly revealed during the middle four years of his stay, of the stay of the Prophet Sallallahu at Makkah. Except for Surah Shuara. There are exceptions, but generally those rules hold. Now this surah was definitely revealed just like Surah Al- Surah Al-Ankabut, in the fifth or sixth year, after the beginning of Wahi on Muhammad Wasallam, In the same way it is also definite that it was revealed in the sixth or fifth year after the beginning of Wahi to Muhammad Wasallam. Al-Islam means Ghulibat in Rome. The Romans have been defeated. Fi adnul ard in the land close by. And after this defeat of theirs, they will soon be victorious. Three business in in a few years. To Allah belongs the command before and after. And on that day, the believers will also be rejoicing. With the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He helps whomsoever he wants. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الرَّحِيمُ And He is the Mighty One, the Merciful. وَعَدَ اللَّهِ This is the promise of Allah. لَا يُخْلِفُ اللَّهُ وَعَدَهُ Allah doesn't go back on His promise. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of the people know not. Now it is clear from these six ayats that there is a historical background behind it. First of all, you should have an idea that the Arabian Peninsula is like this. And over this peninsula is Syria on the left side and Iraq on the right. These are also part of Arab world. Iraqul Arab, Shamul Arab, and Al Jazeera. These are the three parts of the Arab world. Iraqul Arab, Shamul Arab, and Al Jazeera, the Arabian Peninsula. Now there were two superpowers of that age. One was the Roman Empire. One was the Iranian Empire. These were the two superpowers of that time. For several hundred years, they were, you know, the superpowers. And then, you know, history had been playing a game of seesaw between the two em- empires. Sometimes the Romans came to the east and they ran over most of the area that was occupied by the Iranians and defeated them. Sometimes the Iranians advanced and pushed the Romans into the Asia Minor. Roman Empire was a very big empire. It had its occupied areas in the north of Africa, west of Asia, and east of Europe. But then, you know, if the Iranians advanced, they pushed these Romans into Anatolia, the Asia Minor. 
And when the Christians, the, the Romans, they advanced, they pushed uh, Iranians back. Now what happened in the year, it was year 615, when Muhammad Sallallahu had been giving his dawah for five years. Revelation started to come to him in the year 610. In 615 AD, Romans got a very big defeat at the hands of the Iranians. All this area, Syria was gone from their hands, Jerusalem gone from their hands. You know, and for those Christians, that was a very sacred area. So a very big downfall came on the Roman Empire. Now, because the Iranians were the worshippers of the fire, the idolaters of Bakka and Arabia, they rejoiced. And they taunted to the Muslims, these people, the Christians, they are nearer to you. They are the people of the book. You accept Jesus. Now they have been defeated. And they are more nearer to us. They are worshipping fire. And we are worshipping these idols. So they are our brothers. And they have triumphed. So this was the event which was very important. And due to this, the Muslims were also somewhat depressed. Because the people of the book were defeated by those who were worshipping fire. On this, Hazrat Abu Bakr entered into a betting agreement with one of the Kuffar of Bakka. That if this prophecy, Quran says that within a few years, the Romans will have the victory again. In a few years. To Allah belongs the authority before also and after also. On this he bet and he entered into an agreement of betting that if this prophecy doesn't come true in three years, then I'll give you hundred camels. If it comes true, you give me hundred camels. But the Prophet said, you have committed a mistake. The word biza in Arabic, it covers the figure up till nine, less than ten. So you change your bet, increase the number of the years to nine. And you can include also the number of the camels. So he changed his bet in accordingly. Exactly in the nine years after this event, in the year 624, the tables were turned. Heraclius, the Roman emperor, he now invaded Iran from the northern area, from, you know, this, between the Caspian, from where the Gogs and Magogs used to come in the, in the ancient times. Uh, the, you know, the way was blocked by Cyrus or Zulkarnain. We have read it in Surah Al-Kahf. From Armenia and Azerbaijan, he came down and he gave a very, you know, very big defeat to the Iranians. So the prophecy came to be true. al Rome, the Romans have been defeated. Fiyad in the close by land. Now land is Syria, etc. was very close to the Arabian Peninsula. And after this defeat of theirs, they will again be victorious. In a few years, less than ten. To Allah belongs the authority before and even also after. On that day, the moment the believers will also be rejoicing. Why? The same year, Muslims got the victory of Badr. Same year, 624. On the one hand, Christians defeated the Iranians, the worshippers of fire. And the Muslims, they defeated the army of Bad, army at Badr of Kufar, which was led by Abu Jahl. So, Yawmaydi Yafrahul Mu'minun. The believers here in the Arabian Peninsula, will, they will also be rejoicing with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He helps whomsoever he likes. And he is all-powerful and all-merciful. And this is the promise of Allah. Allah doesn't go back on his promise. But most of the people know not. They don't know. Ya'lamuna zahiram min al hayat in dunya. Even of this world, this life of this world, they only know the outside of it, outward aspect of this life. I was asked a question regarding the ayah of Surah Al-Ankabut. Wa ma hadil hayatu dunya 
illa lahu wa la'ib. Now this life of this world is nothing but amusement and play. The brother asked, but Allah says, wa khalaqta, wa khalaqta haza batila, this world and this creation is not purposeless. So now here it is being said that this is all amusement. So answer is, if this life blocks your vision of akhira, then it is nothing. It is just, you know, a dhoka, a deceit, and nothing else. Mata'ul gurur, a material of deceit. But if you know akhira also, and use this dunya to earn akhira, then this is the most important part of our life. And this is given in a hadith the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ad-Dunya Mazratul Akhirah. This dunya, this world, is the sowing field for Akhirah. You sow here to reap there. But if you don't sow here, what will you reap in the Akhirah? In that regard, it's what's important. Each and every second, I, I said while explaining Surah Al-Mu'minun, each and every second of this life is very important. Because what you are doing, that is going to be rewarded in a life which is eternal, no end. So therefore, potentially, each second of this life becomes eternal, potentially eternal, because its results are going to be spread over an eternal time. So hence, this life is very important. But if it has blocked your vision of the Akhra, and you are lost in this world, then this is nothing but a drama. Nothing but an amusement, nothing but a game. Yalamuna Zahiram al Hayat in Dunya, they are seeing out of this worldly life also, they are seeing only the exterior of it. Wahumanil Akhiratihum Gafilun. Regarding the Akhira, they are absolutely heedless. Because in this world also, if you peep down into your hearts, if you search your souls, you'll find something. But mostly people keep themselves engaged in the external world, world outside. Keep busy. Never think, never, you know, ponder over something. Never search your souls. Never peep down into your hearts. So this is actually the present society. In the next surah you will find people, people you know today have invented methods to keep people busy. Don't let them think. They should be busy in the television. They should be busy with the games. Cricket is going on. Oh, everybody is talking about it. And you know, people are just tied up to their television sets. And they are losing time and everything. And these things, they have attracted people. And they don't have any time. Either you are going to your work, they are busy with your work there. Job. And job, you know, is the most important thing here. It's the biggest era in, in America. Job is the biggest era. You must have a job, otherwise you are nowhere. So, either you are in job or you are in amusement. You are never alone to yourself to be able to think. And then you go to sleep taking some sleeping pill. Go off. Not thinking. If you think, and if you meditate, and if you peep down your hearts, if you search your souls, you will find. Rafi anfusikum afalatub sirun. There are our signs within you also, but you don't see them. Oh, no. this, the same subject has come. Have they never pondered over their own selves, reflected over them? Allah has not created the heavens and the earth and whatever is between the two, but with truth and with purpose. Wa ajalin musamma. And an appointed term. This creation is not eternal. It will not remain forever. As I said in the last lecture, a time will come when nothing will exist except Allah. In the end of Surah Al Qasas, we had this ayah. But most of the people, they are refusing that they are going to meet their Lord. Have they not traveled in the land and saw for themselves what was the end of those who were before them? They were more in, in might and power than them. 
this nation of Aad was a very mighty nation and a very big culture. Our Asaru Larda wa Abaruha, Aksara Bima Abaruha. And they tilled the land and built upon it more than these have built. Wajaatum Rosulu Bil Bayinat. And to them also our messengers came with our clear signs and clear teachings. Famaqan Allah Yazlimahu. Well, Allah was not unjust to them. Walakin Kanu and Fusam Yazlimun. But actually they were doing wrong to themselves. Summa Kana Akibatun Lazina Asahu Suha. Then the end of those who had done evil was evil. It had to be evil. Ankazabu bi ayatillah. That they rejected the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa kanu biha yastas the own. To add insult to injury, they were mocking at the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They were laughing and mocking. Allah hu yabdaul khalqa summa yu'iduhu. It is Allah who originates the creation and then repeats it. Summa ilayhi turja'oon. In the same way, He has created you and then you will again be recreated, resurrected, and then you will be returned to Him. وَيَوْمَ تَقُومُ السَّاعَةُ يُبْلِسُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ And when that hour comes, well, these guilty people shall be absolutely disappointed and despaired. They will have no hope. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُمْ مِنْ شُرَقَائِهِمْ شُفَاءُ They will have no intercessors on their behalf from those whom they thought that they are the partners of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَكَانُوا بِشُرَقَائِهِمْ كَافِرِينَ And then, they will deny, they will be denying their shuraka there. وَيَوْمَ تَقُومُ السَّاعَةُ يَوْمَ يَوْمَ فَرَّقُونَ And when this hour will come, they will be divided. Divided into whom? فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِنُوا صَالِحَاتِ فَهُمْ فِي رَوْضَةٍ يُحْبَرُونَ As for those who had come to believe and who had done good deeds, they will be happy in a garden. وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَكَذَبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا وَلِقَائِ الْآخِرَةِ And as for those who rejected the faith and belied our revelations and belied that they were to meet us, فَأُولَائِكَ فِي الْعَزَابِ مُخْتَرُونَ They will be brought forth to the worst chastisement. فَسُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ هِنَا تُمْسُونَ وَهِنَا تُسْبِعُونَ So Allah be glorified when you enter the evening and when you enter the morning. وَلَهُ الْحَمْدُ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ And for Him is the praise in the heavens and the earth. وَعَشِيًّا وَهِنَ تُزْحِبُونَ And you should praise Him and glorify Him in the afternoon also. And when the, the sun declines to the west during the noon, يُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ He brings forth the living from the dead. وَيُخْرِجُ الْمَيِّتَ مِنَ الْحَيِّ And brings forth the dead from the living. وَيُحْيِ الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا and he gives life, revives the earth after its death. وَكَذَلِكَ تُخْرَجُونَ And in the same way, you will be taken out from the, from the land, from the earth. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ تُرَابٍ Now, in this section, third section of this surah, you will see the, repeatedly, مِنْ آيَاتِهِ مِنْ آيَاتِهِ As we had in Surah Al-Nahl, إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ الْآيَاتِ لِقَوْمِ يَسْمَعُونَ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ الْآيَاتِ لِقَوْمِ يُبْسِرُونَ in the Fiza Lekal Ayat in Lekomi Yafkahun. But the pattern and style is different. Subject is the same. Wa bin ayatihi, it is from his signs. Khalqaku, khalqaku min turabin, that he created you out of mud. Summa iza antum, basharun tantashirun, and then behold, you are mortals, human beings, scattered around, moving. Wa bin ayatihi, and from amongst his signs, and خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنَ الْفِزِقُمْ أَزْوَاجَةً That He created from your own selves, or we may call from your own species, wives for you. لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا So that you have repose in them. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً And He produced between you love and affection and mercy. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ الْآيَاتِ لِقَوْمِ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ In this are the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His wisdom, His creation, His power, His authority. But for those who ponder, who reflect, who think. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ سَمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ And from his signs are the creation of the heavens and the earth. وَاخْتِلَافُ وَالْسِنَتُكُمْ وَالْمَانِكُمْ And the diversity and difference in your tongues and colors and whose. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتِ لِلْعَالَمِينَ And these are the signs for those people who know. 
وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ مَنَامُكُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ And from amongst his ayat and signs is your sleeping during the night and the day. The midday, you know, afternoon nap also included in the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But people in the West absolutely deprived from it. We in the East enjoy this blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Take some time out during afternoon for the nap. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ مَنَامُكُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ You are sleeping during the night and the day. وَبْتِغَاوْكُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ And then you are seeking the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the day. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتِ لِقَوْمِ يَسْمَعُونَ Verily in these are the ayat, the signs for those people who listen. وَبِنْ آيَاتِهِ يُرِيكُمُ الْبَرْقَ خَوْفٌ وَتَبْعَ And from his signs is that he shows you the lightning with fear and hope. Maybe some cyclone is coming, so that is the fear. Maybe Mahab Mubaraka, good rain is coming, that is the hope. But when you see lightning, you know, both these things occur to you. But you don't know the man, and he sent down from the heaven water. For you hear the earth by the mouth, and revives the earth, the land, after it was dead. In the fizale kala ayati le qomi yaqilun. Verily, in this are the signs for those people who have the understanding. Wa min ayati in taqomas sabaa wa lardu bi amri. And it is from amongst his signs that the heaven and earth, they keep staying balanced. They keep staying balanced. Summa iza daakum da'awatan min al-ard. Then he will call you, one call from the earth, iza antum tukhrujun, you will be coming out and you will emerge from your graves. وَلَهُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ And to him belongs whatever is in the heavens. And whatever is in the earth, كُلٌّ لَهُ قَانِتُونَ All are obedient to him. وَهُوَ الَّذِي يَبْدَوُ الْخَلْقَ سُمَّ يُعِيدُهُ He is the one who creates, originates his creation. And then he will repeat. وَهُوَ أَحْوَنُ عَلَيْهِ And that is easier on him. To create for the first time was difficult. But to repeat it is easy. وَلَهُ الْمَسَلُ الْعَالَى And to him are the loftiest similitudes in the in the sabawat and the earth, in the and the highest attributes in the heavens and the earth. Wa huwa al-Azizul Rahim, Hakim, and He is the All-Powerful, All-Wise. Zalaba lakum masalam min al-fusikum. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala strikes a similitude from yourselves. Hal lakum min ma malakat amanukum min shuraka fi ma radhnaakum fantu fi sawa. Do you have from amongst your slaves? whom your right hands possess. From them do you have shurakas, associates, equals, in what we have given you. You make them your partners, so that you become equal with each other. You are the master, you have a slave. You own this, 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 this. Do you include this slave in this ownership? No. Quran takes the similitudes from this society. This society was there. The slaves were there, the masters were there. Now no master was ready to make his slave a partner with the, in his property. Do you care for them as much as you care for yourself? If you are sick, you run to the doctor. You give the highest fee. But as for your slave, do you care that much? Maybe you send him to the, the community hospital, you know, <laughs> to go there. But you don't care for him as you care for you. So can Allah adopt partners from his own creation? How come? If you can't imagine it for yourself. In this way, we detail our ayat, our revelations for those people who know. But these evildoers actually, they are following their desires and lusts. They are not following their intellect. They are not following the reasoning. They are following the desires and lusts and the wishes of the id or the libido. They are ilm and they have no knowledge. So who can 
bring to the right path the one whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent astray. وَمَا لَهُمْ مِنْ نَاصِرِينَ And for them there are no helpers. فَأَقِمْ وَجْحَكَ لِلْدِّينِ حَنِيفًا So keep your face fixed for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as absolute upright man of pure faith. فِتْرَةَ اللَّهِ اللَّتِي فَتَرَ النَّاسَ عَلَيْهَا This is the true nature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on which He has created human beings also. This ana, this self, this is in Allah, ana, and a small ana He has put in us also. As I told you, Allah Iqbal says, the infinite ego of Allah and the finite ego of man, they come face to face in prayer. When I'm praying, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki, Yawmin Deen, Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nastareen. Now I'm conversing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm face to face. That's why the Prophet said, As-Salatu Mirajul Mu'mineen. This is like Miraj. If you have the real Salah, you are praying really, then it is equal to Miraj. فَاقِمْ وَجَهَكَ لِلْدِينِ حَنِفَا فِتْرَةَ اللَّهِ اللَّتِي فَتَرَ النَّاسُ عَلَيْهَا لَا تَبْدِيلَ لِخَلْقِ اللَّهِ There can be no change in the creation of Allah. ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيِّمُ So this is the right religion, the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which will stay forever. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of the people know not. مُنِيبِينَ إِلَيْهِ O believers, turn to him, وَاتَّقُوهُ and fear him. وَاقِيمُ الصَّلَاةَ And establish the prayer. وَلَا تَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُشْتَكِينَ And don't in any way be with those who are associating anything or anyone with Allah in any way. مِنَ الَّذِينَ فَرَّقُوا دِينَهُمْ From among those who have divided their deen, who have split up their deen, كُلُّ حِزْبٍ مِبَادَ دَيْهِمْ فَرِعُونَ And every group and every sect is rejoicing with what they have. You know, this deen is a whole. But then, when a messenger of Allah came, he gave you the whole deen. After him, after a few generations, now people split the deen. And this part is taken by the ulama. This part is taken by the sufiya. The politics is taken by the salateen and kings. That one deen has been split into three. Then there are sects according to <coughs> different sets of beliefs and creeds. So now everyone has one part of deen and he is rejoicing that I have the best deen. So this is the condition of the sects, you know, in, in the deen of Allah. When there is a downfall, a degradation, then that deen becomes split into sects. وَإِذَا مَسْتَنَّا سُدُرُّنْ دَعَوْ رَبَّهُمُ نِبِيُونَ إِلَيْهِ And when some affliction touches the mankind, they call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fully turning to Him. ثُمَّ إِذَا عَذَاقَهُمْ مِنْهُ رَحْمَةً When He makes them taste mercy from Him, إِذَا فَرِيقُ مِنْهُمْ بِرَبِّهِمْ يُشْرِكُونَ Then some of them begin to make, to declare associates with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَيَكْفُرُوا بِبَعَةَ تَعْدَاهُمْ So that they should be ungrateful. But with what we have given them, فَتَمَتَّعُوا What we have given them, they are spending in sin. We gave them this thing and he is spending this for a sin. We gave him this money and he is using it to purchase liquor. So our blessings, they are actually being ungrateful to us. فَسَوْفَ تَعْلَمُونَ So very soon they will come to know the reality. Have we sent down to some, some proof, some scripture, which says to them that these are actually associated with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's no scripture in the world, no allegedly divine scripture coming from heaven, which, which says that this is the associators with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِذَا عَذَقْنَ النَّاسَ رَحْمَةً فَرَحُوا بِهَا And when we make people taste our mercy, so they are, they rejoice with it. وَإِنْ تُصِبْهُمْ سَيِّئَةٌ And if some affliction comes to them, 
دماقدمت اے دین ڈیو ٹو وٹ دیئر بوتھ ہینڈز ایف سینٹ سینٹ فارورڈ ادا ہوں یک نتون دین دے بیکم ایبسولیوٹلی ڈس اپوائنٹڈ اینڈ ڈسپیئرڈ اولم یرو ان اللہ یبسط رزق لمن یشاء و یقدر ڈونٹ دے سی دیٹ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی آؤٹ اسپریڈز دی پروویژن فار ہوم سو ایور ہی ولز اینڈ ریسٹرکٹس فار ہوم سو ایور ہی ولز ان فی ذالک لا آیات لقوم یؤمنون ان دیز آر دی سائنز فار دوز ہو بلیو فآت ذل قربا حقه سو او بی ون ہو بلیوز یو گیو یور ریلیٹیوز دیئر رائٹ دیئر ڈیو You have to pay them. You have to help them. At the al qurba haqqa, and this is their right. Val miskina and the needy, from the sabil and the traveller or the wayfarer. Zalika khairu lil lazina yuridu na wajhallah. This is better for those who seek the countenance of Allah, the face of Allah. That is the pleasure of Allah. Wa ulai kahum al muflihun and definitely they are the ones who will prosper in the hereafter. وَمَا أَتَيْتُمْ مِنْ رِبَلْ لَيَرْمُوَ فِي أَمْوَالِ النَّاسِ And whatever you give on usury or interest, so that your money grows with the money of the people. You have given someone thousand dollars. Now he is doing his business. His own money is there and your one thousand dollars are also mixed with them. Due to his work, his hard work, this money is growing. And your ten thousand dollars are also growing with them, with that, without any effort from you, and you are charging interest on it. This is riba. This is haram. Wama ate tu mir riban le yarbo afi amalin nas. Whatever you give to people on interest or usury, so that it should increase in the in the wealth of the people. Fala yarbo in Allah. It doesn't increase at all. With Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. وَمَا عَتَيْتُمْ مِنْ زَكَاتٍ And whatsoever you give for charity, تُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَ اللَّهِ And you want the countenance of Allah, the pleasure of Allah with that. أُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْمُزْعِفُونَ Only they will be, they should have manifold increase. So riba is absolutely opposed to zakah. What is riba? There is some surplus with you. You are earning, your needs are fulfilled, You have saved something. Now this saving is surplus with you. Now with this surplus, you can do two things. Either you invest it again into earning, or you give it for the charity. First choice should be you give it for the charity. Yes, Anuna ka maza yun fikun pole laaf. This surplus actually should be given in the way of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Either in charity to the needy people, or for the Deen of Allah to propagate it. and to make it established in the in the land but if you want some investment then that investment should be halal it should be muzaraba or musharaka no riba what is riba you say okay brother you take this money you do business i never care whether you earn something or you lose something i will get 10% from you or 12% or 20% this is haram and there is nothing in islam more haram than this Even adultery is nothing before it, because the prophet says, "A riba sabuna human. Seventy sins are there in one sin of riba, and these seventy are not equal. Some are greater, some are smaller sins. As a roha, the least and the smallest of these sins is equal to a yan kehar rajul umma hu that a man commits adultery with his own mother." This is the ratio proportion. وَمَا أَتَيْتُمْ مِنْ رِبَلْ لَيَرْبُوَ فِي أَمْوَالِ النَّاسِ فَلَا يَرْبُوَ إِنَّ اللَّهِ وَمَا أَتَيْتُمْ مِنْ زَكَاتٍ تُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَ اللَّهِ فَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُزَفُّونَ اللَّهُ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ ثُمَّ رَزَقَكُمْ Allah is He who has created you, then He has provided you sustenance. ثُمَّ يُمِيتُكُمْ then He will put you to die. ثُمَّ يُهِيكُمْ then He will revive you. هَلْ مِنْ شُرَكَائِكُمْ يَفْرُو مِنْ ذَلِكُمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ Is there anyone whom you are associating with Allah who can do anything among these? Subhana, glory is for Allah. Wa Taala ma yushlekun, and He is high and high and above from all those things with which they are associating. Zahar al-fasadu fil barre wal bahre bi ma kasabat ay din nas. 
corruption and mischief has come up and covered the whole globe, the land as well as the oceans, due to what the hands of people have earned. So that Allah should taste them, make them taste, reward of some of their sins. Maybe they, their eyes are opened and they come back. Now you know this, this world, all the crises, water crisis is threatening, pollution is threatening, then the population explosion is threatening, then there are weapons of destruction, mass destruction, biological, chemical, atomic, all these things. What is this world? A fearful thing now. There is facade. At any time, if by mistake, you know, some button is pressed, maybe this just explodes, this whole, whole earth might explode. Because if, immediately there will be an atomic attack from this side, and immediately there will be a response from the other side. What will happen then? Zahar al fasad of al-Barr wal bahar But there is another meaning of this facade. Today on the whole of the world, there is a revolt against Allah. Even those who believe in Allah, they are not ready to take Him and accepting Him as their ruler. We are our own rulers. Sovereignty belongs to us. We will frame the laws. Our representatives will sit and they will make the rules. We don't care about any divine rule and divine laws, what he has prohibited and what he has permitted. We don't care. We are the sovereigns. This is global revolt against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rebellion. Zahar al fasad of al-barri wal-bahri bima kasab nas <clears throat> now what is humanity tasting, you know, the bad taste of these things? Kulsiru filar. Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, go around this land. Anzuru ka fakana aqibatul ladzina min qabl. See for themselves what was the end of those who were before them. Kaan aqsarhu mushrikeen. Most of them were the idolaters, the associators with Allah of some or some other deities. فَاقِمْ وَجْهَكَ لِلْدِينِ الْقَيِّمِ So you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and through you, I am, through Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I am being addressed and you are being addressed. You keep your set fixed and set for the deen of Allah, and which is everlasting deen. That deen which will go on and go on till the last, till the end of this world. فَاقِمْ وَجَهَكَ لِلْدِّينِ الْقَيِّمِ مِنْ قَبْلِ اَنْ يَعْتِيَ يَوْمُ لَا مَرَدَّ لَهُ مِنَ اللَّهِ Before that, that that time comes of your death, or of that hour of Qiyamah, which will not be able to be averted by anybody. يَوْمَ اِذِنْ يَسَدَّعُونَ On that day, they will, they will be, they will be divided. مَنْ كَفَرَ فَعَلَيْهِ كُفْرُهُ Whosoever had Disbelieved, so upon him will be the burden of disbelief. وَمَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا And whosoever had did, done good deeds, فَلِأَنفُسِمْ يَمْحَدُونَ So they are providing for their own selves. لَيَجْزِيَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَآمِنُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ So that Allah may reward those who have the real faith and do good deeds مِنْ فَصْلِهِ From his bounty. إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْكَافِرُونَ Verily, he doesn't like those who disbelieve. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ يُسْرَ الرِّعَابُ بَشِّرَاتٍ And it is also from his signs that he sends the winds, bringing the glad tidings that rain is coming and coming. People were waiting, waiting, waiting for the rain. And now, you know, that breeze has come, as if a message has come, that the rain is near. وَلَيُذِيقَكُمْ مِنْ رَحْمَتِهِ He said that he should make you taste his mercy. وَلِتَجْرِيَ الْفُلْكُ بِأَمْرِهِ and so that there is water in the rivers, and you know the ships can move. So that you can seek Allah's bounties you are, you, by trading through the sea routes. But the end result of all of this should be that you should be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And before you, O Muhammad, 
we sent many messengers to their nations. فَجَعُهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتُ They came to them with clear signs and clear teachings. فَانْتَقَمْنَا مِنَ الَّذِينَ عَجْرَبُوا Then we take our vengeance, we took the vengeance upon those who were guilty. وَكَانَ حَقَّنْ عَلَيْنَا نَسُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And it was binding upon us that we had to help the believers. It was the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with all the messages of Allah, Nu and Hud and Saleh and so on and so forth, that you will be saved in the end. When that chastisement will come, all these disbelievers will be destroyed, but you and your companion believers will be saved. وَكَانَ حَقَّنْ عَلَيْنَا نَصْفُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ اللَّهُ الَّذِي يُرْسِلُ الرِّعَاءَ فَتُسِيرُ السَّحَابًا Allah is He who sends winds, and they raise a cloud. Then Allah spreads that cloud in the, in the heaven. As He likes. Then it divides into fragments. And then you see, rain is coming from in between them. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he takes this rain to some of the persons from his bondsmen. Well, they rejoice that now our fields, you know, had water, and now our crops will, you know, come up. Although, surely, before the coming of the rain, they were absolutely disappointed and despaired. So see, the marks of Allah's mercy. Kafa yohi lard. How he revives the land. Bada mautiha. After its death. In nazalik. In nazalik ala bohi il mauta. Verily he who is doing this. Reviving the earth after death. He will revive the dead also. Wahu ala kulli shayin qadir. And he is powerful to do everything. Walain arsallah rihan farahu musfarran. Lazallu min baadihi yak furur. And if we send a cold wind over there, over there, you know, harvest, and they say, and they see that the harvest had turned from green to yellow, lazallu min baadhi yakfaroon, then they would, after that, certainly continue to disbelieve. Fainna kalatus meul mauta. So you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, cannot make the dead hear. Walatus meul summa dua ida walau mudburin. In the same way, you cannot make. The deaf hear, especially when they turn their faces and go off. How can you convey your message to them? Either they are already dead, they are spirits in them, they are dead. They are like tombs, you know, moving, just like Taziyas. So they are the moving tombs and nothing else. Their arvah, their spirits are dead within them. They seem to be human beings, but they are not human beings. They are now only animals. In the same way, you cannot guide the blind person from his errors. In tusmi'u illa mayyu minu bayayatina, you can make here only those who believe in our revelation, swahum muslimun, and then they surrender. Allahu ladhi khalaqakum min zofin. Allah is He. Who created you from weakness? When a person comes in this world as a baby, he's very weak, very frail. Cannot do anything. So majala mimbar is often kuvatan. Then after that weakness, there is the power, the strength. A man attains puberty. He is young. He is full of life. So majala mimbar is kuvatan often vashayba. And then after that, the weakness. And you know the grey hair, they come. You started with weakness, then there was the period of life when you were strong. Then again, when you have reached old age, hair are grey, and your body is weak, frail. يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ This is the creation of Allah. He creates whatever He likes. وَهُوَ الْعَلِيمُ الْقَدِيرُ And He is all-knowing, all-powerful. وَيَوْمَ تَخُمُ السَّعَاتُ يُقْسِمُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ and the day when that hour will come, that day of resurrection will come. Yuksimul Mujrimun. 
then these people they they will swear mala besuga rasatin that they did not remain in the world more than an hour whole life of this maybe 80 years or 90 years or 70 years would appear to be as if it was one hour kazalika kanu yufakun in this way they were being deluded wa qala alladhina utul ilma wal imana laqad labistum fi kitab Allah ila yawm al ba's now those people who were given the knowledge and iman and belief and faith they would say you have lived in the book of allah to the day of resurrection this is the day of resurrection fahaza yawm al ba's now this is the day of resurrection when you have been resurrected from your graves walakin nakum kuntum la ta'lamun but you were not knowing it you were not accepting it you were not believing it fa yawma idhin la yanfa'u alladhina zalamu ma'dilatuhum so on that day the excuses will be of no use for those people who had done wrong to themselves wala hum yustaqabun and nor will they be allowed to apologize there is you know a position when you are angry with somebody but you wish if he apologizes i will forgive him but this this anger can increase to a level no apology now you don't let him apologize there is no room for any apology so this is what is meant with quran by wala hum yustaqabun neither excuses will be entertained nor they will be given permission to leave to apologize rabna lil nas fi hadha al quran min kulli masal and we have struck in this quran for the guidance of the people all similitudes we have described our way in all the ways different styles different words different sequences wala in jaitahum bi ayatin and when you come to them with the new ayah la yaqulanna alladhina kafaru in antum illa mubtilun these people who disbelieve they will surely say no but you are forging and creating falsehood kazalika yatwa'u allah ala qulub alladhina la ya'lamun in this way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts a seal on the hearts of those who don't have knowledge as we have in the very first section of surah al-baqarah ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم وعلى ابصارهم غشاوه هو تو هوم سو ايفر ٹروتھ از ریویلڈ اینڈ ہز ہارٹ سیز یس دس از کریکٹ دس از ٹرو یو مسٹ ایکسپٹ بٹ ہی ڈزنٹ ایکسپٹ آؤٹ اف ہز ہارٹنیس فار ایگزامپل آؤٹ اف ہز تھاٹ دیٹ اٹ وائٹ اٹ ول مین دیٹ ہی ہیز سکسیڈڈ آئی ایم فیلڈ ہی از ہارڈ دین می دین اف آئی ایکسپٹ ہز از وٹ ہی از سیئنگ Now, if this is the condition, after some time, then Allah Taala puts a seal on the heart. Now, no advice can enter this heart, no admonition can enter this heart, no sermon can be beneficial for this heart. So, this is the Sunnah of Allah. First, will so, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the last instruction in the Surah. First, will persevere and endure with patience. wa in nawad allah haqq the promise of allah is true what is that promise haqq alaina nunjil mu'minin kana kana haqq alaina nunjil mu'minin this is the promise on us binding on us that we shall deliver the people who believe we shall help them wala yansuranna allah man yansuru this is our promise that allah will definitely definitely help those who help him and we read you know the last ayah of surah al-ankabut wal ladina jahadu fina la nahdiyannahum subulana those who strive for our cause in our way we are we, we shall surely definitely without doubt guide them to our ways so these are the promises of allah fasbir inna wa'ad allah haqqun the promise of allah is true wala yastakhiffannaka alladhina la yu'minun la yuqinun and see to it o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that those who don't believe they will not be able to make you feel uneasy or feeble or discouraged or disheartened 
due to their opposition, due to their la laughing at you, due to their mockery, don't get, you know, feeble or discouraged or disheartened. Persevere in calling the people towards the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the end of Surah Ar-Rum. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa zikil hakeem. Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar The Islamic Organization of North America, Iona, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.